Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Let's talk about favicons. Maybe you've seen favicons. Well, you probably have seen favicons, uh, but you might not know what that is. I'm going to show you what a favicon is. When you visit a website, sometimes you'll see a little image, a little icon image right here. At least in this browser, it shows up in the tab. Each browser may do this differently, but this little logo or image right here is called a favicon. It stands for favorites icon. So if somebody favorites this website, their bookmark is associated with this little logo. Most websites have favicons. Most professional websites do. So if you went to PayPal, you can see their favicon right up here in the corner. And you see since I favorited PayPal and put it in my bookmarks, that favicon is associated with a link. Same thing with Aweber, autoresponder service. There's their favicon up in the corner here. And when I saved this link on my bookmarks, their favicon showed up. A website that doesn't have a favicon will show a blank square like this. If we go to this particular website, they didn't have a favicon. Or this one is go to authorize.net. See what happened with them. Yeah, so they didn't have one. But if you want to put a favicon on your website, it's uh, just for fun, looks a little bit better. There are some, some people think it helps your search engine optimization. I don't think it does. I don't think Google cares, but it's, uh, it just looks better. So the question is, how do you make one? Well, a favicon is a special kind of an image. It's called uh, an ICO image or an icon image. And it's uh, not really a function of 90 Second Website Builder as much as it's just a function of getting one of those images. So one of the great ways to make a favicon is to go to a website called favicon.cc. It's a great website because you can literally make anything you want or import an image to become your favicon and then use it on your website. And I'll show you how 90 Second Website Builder puts it on your website for you. So first, let's make a favicon. Well, you have a lot of options here. You can uh, use the drawing tools and just draw yourself a favicon if you're the artistic type and you've got all kinds of colors and and things to work with over here if you want if you're so inclined to do that and you can pick up colors and move colors and make transparencies and you can you can mess with this tool all you want as you design your uh, favicon it's great because this website gives you a preview of what it's going to look like right down here you can see everything that I just sort of randomly drew appears down here and there's my uh, that's what my my ugly favicon would look like if I were to use this one they also show you up in the browser bar what it would look like so it actually keeps up with you as you're designing let's get another color here as you're designing your favicon you can see up here in the corner and down here I'm previewing my work and then I would just save this image rather than do it this way I would have a hard time designing an avicon I'm not uh, or a favicon I should say I'm not this kind of artistic what I would do is just import an image and then work with that so Let's do that. I clicked on import an image. I'm going to go browse for one. Now I, I downloaded somebody else's um, icon because I thought it was a nice one. And so let's just use theirs as an example. Let me go get that real quick. This is kind of a big orange box with a letter E in it. And I just upload that. And there you go. So I could take this and edit it and work with it and change it. And you know, you don't certainly don't want to use somebody else's logo. I wouldn't, wouldn't do that. But this gives you an idea of how it works. And you could take somebody else's logo and then seriously modify it just so you could learn how to design a, a favicon. But you can see here's what the here's what their logo or their icon looks like in the browser. Here's what it looks like up here. It's very nice. It looks very social media network-ish. But um, again, you could take the tools and colors and you could change this to be, you know, whatever you want it to be. As you do this, uh, again, what's cool about it is you as you make your changes, you can see them right down here and make your own make your own style all right so let's say you've made a let's say you've made a favicon all you do is you download it so they have a place for you to do that uh, what you do is you just click this link right here download favicon and you will save it wherever you save things and then it'll be on your computer okay let's say I've done that let's go now to 90 second website builder and let me show you how to put the favicon on your website. So as you're designing with 90 Second Website Builder, you can right click on the canvas to go to Page Properties and you will find under the General tab, Favorites Icon, in other words, favicon. This is very simple now. Assuming you've created your favicon, your 16 by 16 image is what it really is. 
Uh, you're going to click on here, find it on your computer, add it to your page, click OK. When you publish, your favicon will appear on your website. So you might be wondering, why can't I just take any old image and make it a 16 by 16? Well, a favicon has to be a special kind of image. It's not a JPEG or a GIF or a BMP or a PNG. It's an ICO. It's some kind of an image, the name of your image, .ICO, and it's 16 by 16. That's what makes up a favicon. That's how you do it. Make your, find an avicon or make an avicon and to put it on your website, 90 Second Website Builder makes it easy to do in the page properties.